Both Cannondale and Garmin Sharp came close to folding at the end of 2014. Instead, they merged their operations and relaunched under the banner Team Cannondale Garmin. InCycle caught up with Team CEO Jonathan Vorters to get his take on the state of pro cycling and what it will take to make the sport sustainable. The history of the sport is incredibly important and without that history, without that sort of granular, grainy, um, black and white, this is the way it used to be history. Cycling doesn't separate itself from other sports, but that being said, I think we need for the first time in the sport to really look at how the professional level is constructed. Is this drawing in new viewers? Is this helping the sport grow? Is, this, is it making it you know, attractive worldwide? Or are we just surviving? A strategy for growth and sustainability is one of the key aims of the Velon Group. Cannondale Garmin are one of the 11 teams who signed up to the newly launched umbrella organisation, which aims to improve the lot of the teams and their employees, from riders down to mechanics and soigneurs. If folks want to uh, truly move into an environment where you know teams are not here one year gone the next, if people want a sport where they're not constantly hearing about, um, you know, the pressures of doping, you know, that the employees inside of cycling are not feeling that they're, you know, employed on quicksand and that they're just waiting for the other shoe to drop as to whether the team's going to exist or it's not. And, you know, everyone's sort of looking for the next place to jump to. If we want that sustainability, there are some difficult choices to be made. For Vorters, the key is to look to other sports with successful business models, such as American football. In the United States, in the NFL, the teams that are in the NFL are franchises of the NFL. The company, the business is the NFL. Each team is just a franchise. They're in business together. Their competitors on a business level are not each other. I mean, of course, on the field, they're competitors. But on a business level, their competitors are uh, different forms of entertainment. There are shows on Broadway, there are tennis. Uh, Golf, baseball, those are the competitors. And cycling's got to start thinking that way is, okay, we're one business. My competitor should not be Sky or BMC. It should be on the road, not, in, not from a business standpoint. My competitor in the business standpoint should not be ASO. Right now it is. You know, uh, the teams and race organizers fight for sponsorships or you fight each other for sponsorships. That's ridiculous. Exploring new ways of broadcasting races is integral to Vorta's thinking, as well as that of the Velen Group, with a potential for telemetry on screen showing viewers the riders' power data, speed, and much more. Allowing telemetry to be seen, broadcasting and car radio, all that stuff I think is part of that creating a competitive form of entertainment um, on by cameras. That's creating a more competitive form of entertainment on the worldwide stage. But none of this matters if the cycling season is disjointed and confusing to newcomers. One of the biggest things that people don't understand is, well, wait, so you're saying this is one of the most important races in the world, right? So yes, it is. But the winner of the Tour de France isn't here. Uh, no, he's not. Well, the number one ranked rider in the world from last year isn't here either. No, no, he's not. Well, then how is this an important race? And that's a really good question. You know, the top riders have to go head to head week in, week out a little bit more so that your new audiences understand, well, it's this team versus that team, it's this person versus that person. This is a classic entertainment theory is that you build it to a crescendo and that, uh, you know, each week sort of makes the next week more interesting. And in cycling, we don't have that. The races aren't interrelated to one another. That's, that's ridiculous. The races and the riders and the teams all have to correlate to one another and all have to build to answering the question, who's the best rider in the world? Who's the best team in the world? 